Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. It is windy as all get out outside, which means I'm not going to be outside filming because y'all would just hear wind noise and that ain't fun. Yeah, I've got a dead cat. Doesn't help with how much wind there is out there today, so we're staying indoors. And indoors means radio hacking. And today's hacking project du jour is the Radioddity CB500. It's a CB, I know, I know, but I... I'm a ham and I'm going to get this thing hacked up and cut up and sliced up and diced up and put on the ham bands. And then we're going to see how much power it puts out if it changes any. And we're going to see what bands it opens up and what frequencies it goes to. And we're going to check to see how clean it is with the tiny SA. Let's get over to the workbench and take a look at this thing. Sometimes you just want to play. You just want to tinker. This is the Radioddity CB500. It is also the Anytone 500M radio. And what I'm going to do today applies to both of these. You can see this thing is in the EU configuration and there isn't anything inside of the menu. Let's Let's go into menu and take a look. Echo, alert, RF gain, CDT ID, emergency channel number one, emergency channel number two, PF key, which is that key in the center on the microphone, is for noise reduction currently. Reset all, color is orange, brightness is five, key beep off, roger beep off, mic gain five, mic type electret, SP path is NT. So let's see if we can change that too. Remember, there's nothing in the manual about this. So it's I-N-T, I guess international, M-I-C. Oh, speaker path, internal versus microphone. Nice, there's a microphone in the speaker. Now we're gonna have to play around with that. And that looks like it, oh, it says both. I thought it said goth, B-O-T-H, both. So let's stick with internal, S-C type. What is S-C type? Five, nine, scan type, T-I, T-1, five, nine, T-1. I don't know what that means. Again, the manual is not very precise on this. Let's try T-1 and now let's, Get out of the menu. Oh, it's still EU. Let's turn it off and back on. Still EU. Go back into the menu. SC type T1. We'll turn that back to what it used to be. SC skip. Vox set. Talk back. Timeout timer set. ANL noise blanker. Analog noise blanker. High cut. NR set. Echo. We're back to echo. There ain't nothing in there about turning that from EU mode to regular mode. While we're here and we've got the whole tower of power set up, I wanna try checking some power output. And in order to check power output, I need to plug in coax. I am running this whole station on the Dr. Prepare LifePo 4 100 amp hour battery. And one of the things I like about this battery is this little built-in hub that's up here because it has a cigarette lighter plug socket and it has a DC output socket, a USB charger for USB-C, two USB chargers. One of them looks like the QC type. And then this is Anderson power poles for for input or for charging of the battery. I wish that was output, but I know how to make Anderson power pole output cables. So we are good to go. And we've got coax plugged in. We are on CB channel seven, which is 27035 and we're in AM mode. And I'm using a dummy load up there in case y'all were worried. Three and a half watts out, audio, audio. Yeah, not much different on the swing. Let's change this over to FM modes, there's FM mode, same channel, 27035, same dummy load, same meter. Three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, audio, no change. So we're at three and a half. Now we're gonna take this thing apart and get some more power out of it. Three and a half watts, factory stock, what? can we do? We are licensed ham radio operators and we can do modifications to radios as part of our license. So let's get after it. Any good modification starts with taking something apart. And all of the good parts that you need to mess with are underneath the radio on the speaker side. So we only need to take off these four screws, two on each side. One, two, three, four. When you're lifting this off, this is where the speaker is, so be careful not to rip the speaker plug out. I may or may not have done that in the past. So there is your circuit board. And what I'm looking for right here is this jumper right here. We're gonna move it from the one, two position to the two, three position and see what change that makes. There's also this wire. We're gonna do something with that wire after this. So there's the one, two. Oops, I missed. Make sure you don't miss. To the two, three. And what you're doing is the electrical connection would go from pin one to pin two, completing that circuit and telling the computer to do something. And then the two, three, now, instead of going through one and two, it goes through two and three. So it tells the computer to do something else inside of this. And look, it even gives you a little indication here. It says dip that way, which means take that pin and move it that way. Usually dip means dual inline package and it's a type of switch, but I don't see any of that. I'm not gonna screw it down. I'm just gonna put it back together and we're gonna get back to the other config. All right, let's turn it on together and see what happens. And now it no longer says EU, now it says D. Let's check those menus, color orange, 
Brightness five, key beep on, Roger beep off. Let's turn off that key beep. Roger beep off, mic gain five, mic type electret. Speaker path internal, FM deviation, that's new. 2T, 4T. 2T, 4T. We'll leave it at 2T for now. RF power, that's new. We'll leave it at low for now, but what do we have? Low, N1, and high. I don't know why it says N1. We're going to guess that's medium. Let's go back to low and leave it there. We'll, we'll play with power in a second. SC type, SC skip, box set, talk back, timeout timer. RUSK is TS. That's new also. TO, TS, TO, TS, T5, T0. We'll leave it at TS, T5. Analog noise blanker off, high cut off, NR set, echo off, echo. L28, alert off, RF gain, CDT ID, offset, band, band. We have UK, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, no M, N, UK. That's not how it goes, but good enough. So they didn't do, whoa, I, I hit the PTT button. They didn't do M because you can't fit an M in there. We'll look at those in a minute, but we'll leave that back to D where it was. Band name. So we can change the band name. Interesting. Emergency channel one, emergency channel two, PF key. That's that button on the center of the mic again. Reset all color orange. Okay, so we're back to the beginning. So there were some new menu options in there. We are in low power mode and we've got our power meter up there, 3.5 watts. Still the same, no change. Let's change it over to AM. 3.5 watts on AM. Audio. Oh, I got up to four on the swing. Audio. And then it doesn't go back up there anymore. 3.5 watts still. Okay, let's go back into the menu. Now we have that power setting, RF power low. Let's change that to... Oh, okay. So we're in... I forget what mode we're in, but we missed out on that middle setting. So AM, AM doesn't have the middle power setting. So we went from 3.5-ish watts to audio. I'm seeing, oh, eight. I'm seeing, I'm seeing eight, eight and a half, 8.9. Whoo. All right. Let's change the mode back to FM. And that's 17, 17 and three quarters, 17.7. And let's see what power level we're on. We're still on high. And this is where we have that N1 power level. So let's set that. And then this is still 7.9. So that's interesting. High power FM audio. Okay, so we had those different bands. Let's change the band. Let's go down to the lowest band, which is gonna be A. And we're at 25835. And we're doing 258X. So that's your, your move. There's alpha. That's interesting. How low can we go? Okay, so 25, 615 to 26055 is your A band. And now we're going to go into the menu and we're going to go all the way up to the highest band available, which is, let's see what UK band is while we're here. Well, we have more digits on the display, but we're still only moving at that fourth digit from the left. So these look like the UK channels. 279912 to 276012 in the UK band. Let's change that over to the N band. Oh, 24890, 24990 to 24890 is the N band. So that's a pretty big frequency range that we've got on there now. And I'm still on my dummy load. So, can I transmit on 24? Audio, audio. Yep, we got 1589. I know saying audio doesn't matter in FM, but I wanted to put some noise out there. There's AM, audio. Sweet. What's our power level? RF power, high. I dig it. Audio. All right, that's 18 watts. That's a lot of watts. But wait, there's more. We've got that white wire to cut. All right, turn this thing over, being careful not to yank the speaker out. Get our wire cutters out. We are not plugged into power. And you can reverse either of these two mods fairly easily. You just need to solder that wire back. And I cut out a little bit more and I spread them apart a bit. You can also desolder that, but that's work. I don't feel like doing work, I feel like playing. All right, so it is on jumper position two and three and the white wire is cut. All right, let's do this together. Turn it on. Uh, I don't see much change now. Let's check the menus. Nope, I did that wrong. Long press to get in the menu, not short press. Band. Do we have new bands? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, 
Oh, we have less bands, H-I. So we lost J, K, L, N, and U, K. So we have lost some bands. How do the power levels look? All right, we are on the dummy load still, 28090 FM, low power, 3.6 watts. N1 power, 8.14 watts. High power, 18 watts. Woohoo! 18 watts FM. Nice. Switch this to AM. AM low power, swing, baby, swing. We got four watts out of that. High power, so there's still no medium power on AM mode. Oh, there's no sideband. All right, we're on low power AM. No, we're on high power AM, eight watts. So we still get more power out of FM than we get out of AM, but eight watts is still pretty good. All right, let's see what our bands look like. Let's go into the menu. Okay, now we're moving by the last digit, the third digit, 28 even to 28195 on the A band. And you can imagine that the bands in between, the B, C, D, E, F, whatever, are gonna cover the frequencies in between the A and the I ranges. So there's the I range, 29600 to 29695. And your mode is AM, FM, long press mode and you get weather, long press mode again and you go back to AM or FM. We gotta put the danger glasses on for this next step. I wanna see if this thing is dirty on 10 meters or not. Let's get out our tiny SA and get after it. Okay, we are gonna need two things, maybe more, but two things at least to start off with. We need an attenuator to attenuate the signals. The radio is set to five watts output, low power. This is my tiny SA Ultra. And we're gonna do a harmonics test. Yep, so I'm gonna need an adapter to get me from PL259 to SMA. And I think those are in my Nano VNA case, but I am not sure. Nope, that's BNC. Maybe they're in my Shorecom meter. Yep, there we go. And that's the wrong gender, of course. Big old Plano case full of adapters. And I have a PL259 in, which would be an SO239 on that side and an SMA on that side. And so that is the multiple levels of magic that we need to make this work. Oh, nope, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the attenuator. Do not do this without an attenuator. That will be a bad day for you. Tiny SA on and booting up. Rid of the overhead lights so there's not any glare on the screen. Zoom in. And of course the battery's in the way. Ugh. Oh, dark mode. Okay. Now let's go in and do our settings. I want to measure harmonics and I want to measure the harmonics. What is the center of 10 meters? And we're going to pick 28.8 megahertz. Span is 1x. And then we need to display, draw a line at minus 16.02 megahertz. And then we need to account for our external attenuator, external gain of minus 40, 1x. And then that will drop that line down a little bit and it will go down a little bit farther when we key up. And I gotta get to the right channel on the radio. So that means I gotta change bands from band I to band E. And let's see what she says. Starting to measure some harmonics. It's looking pretty good. Two and three should drop off here in a second. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. That is not bad. 10 meter FM, clean as the day is long. I dig it. That blue line doesn't look right. Display, draw a line, draw a line, minus 16.021x. That line looks better. Okay. See, I was right. Clean as the day is long. I think I forgot like the negative symbol or something. I don't know what happened there, but that's nice and clean. If you are a licensed ham radio operator, get in your shack and start playing with this stuff and use your call sign and your tools and your responsibility to make radios do things they weren't supposed to do. I guess in this case, it technically was supposed to do it and it was very well filtered. But if you had one that wasn't filtered, then you need to make your own filters. And that's a whole nother aspect of ham radio. If you like watching people modify radios to do things that they weren't supposed to do, then this is the channel for you. Make sure you're subscribed. Can we do repeaters with this thing? CD. Oh, I did it again. DF. RT, ID. Yep, there we go. There's your CTCSS tones. So it has CTC or it has DCS. As long as your repeater can line up with the different offsets that are available in the radio and you can get your tones out of that CTC or DCS tone list, 
then you are good to go to work repeaters on this thing. This is pretty cool. It is about $110. That is not terrible for a 10 meter AM FM radio. Which is going to be your competition? A striker or something else like a Cobra? Or even Radioudity has the QT60 and the QT80 or a couple of Anytones. This is actually a clone of the Anytone AT500M radio. So all the stuff I just showed you will also work on the Anytone AT500M. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like hacking with stuff. I like playing with stuff. I'm not sure if I would cut that white wire or not. It depends on whether I need frequencies that are covered under one band plan that aren't covered under another. That's up to the user in question and it is clean on 10 meters. I'm digging that too. So there are links in the description down below where you can get this radio from Radioudity with a good discount or you can get it off of the jungle market over at Amazon if Amazon is your passion. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.